Axiom Space's first commercial module is slated for launch in 2025 and will dock at the ISS's forward port. This milestone seizes the moment when NASA retires the station in the early 2030s, ushering in a fully private, rapidly expandable outpost. We are on the cusp of a new era of multi-habitat orbital platforms, fueling science and commerce beyond government alone. Stay with us as we unpack how Axiom's leap forward is redefining space habitation, only on Great SpaceX. The race to replace the International Space Station is more than just a competition. It is a mission of immense significance. Inheriting the role of such a legendary outpost is not only a profound honor, but also a responsibility that will define the next era of human spaceflight. Several players are actively pursuing this goal. Among them, Axiom Space stands out as the frontrunner, thanks to its well-defined development path and strong institutional support. Initially, Axiom focused on building HAB-1, a service module designed to support both research and crew habitation. However, the company's priorities appear to have shifted. Now, greater attention is being given to the Payload Power Thermal Module, or PPTM, which may become the first segment launched as part of the Axiom Station system. This raises an important question, when will these modules launch? While Axiom Space has not provided a direct timeline, recent developments offer a strong hint. The company has released new images of a completed module currently staged inside its manufacturing facility. This module has passed the initial production phase and is now awaiting integration. According to Axiom, it is a logistics module. In their announcement, Axiom stated, one of many modules, work on Axiom Station continues and has expanded with the acquisition of this multi-purpose logistics module. The MPLM will allow us to adapt and evolve, ensuring that we continue to meet the demands of our customers in low Earth orbit. From this, we can infer that the MPLM, short for Multi-Purpose Logistics Module, will serve a range of support roles. It could store secondary payloads, hold scientific samples before returning to Earth, or serve any number of other purposes depending on mission needs. Its design likely prioritizes flexibility, with features optimized for both storage and research. The module also includes a docking port on one end, as well as an internal isolation mechanism similar to an airlock, which allows it to operate independently or in tandem with other modules. These features underscore its importance within the broader system. The MPLM is scheduled to be installed on Axiom Station after the ISS is decommissioned. This means it is currently one of the final modules planned in the assembly sequence. If that is the case, then the earlier modules, particularly HAB-1 and the PPTM, are likely nearing completion and may already be approaching launch readiness. Axiom Station will initially be built while attached to the ISS, using it as a foundation before eventually detaching to become a fully independent platform. This modular construction strategy mirrors the way young birds are raised in a nest before they fly on their own. Originally, the station was designed with four major components, HAB-1 and HAB-2 service modules, a research and manufacturing facility, or RMF, and a power thermal module, or PTM. These were to be launched in order, just listed. However, due to internal challenges and external uncertainties, particularly the possibility that Russia may exit the ISS program early, Axiom Space has revised this plan. The age of the ISS and the high cost of operations have only added urgency to this decision. There was a proposal to reduce the station's structure to just two modules, HAB-1 and the revised power module, the PPTM. But that concept appears to have been set aside. The four-module layout remains in place, although the launch sequence has been restructured. Under the new plan, the PPTM will launch first, followed by HAB-1. This configuration will serve as the station's core and allow it to operate independently. Next will come an airlock module, likely intended to support early spacewalks. Only after that will the HAB-2 and RMF modules be added. The MPLM will be integrated once the station has stabilized, serving as an enhancement to its operational capacity. This revised timeline may delay the initial launch since the PPTM might be completed after HAB-1. Constructing the station in two phases, one while docked to the ISS and the other while operating independently, adds complexity, especially since the second phase will not benefit from ISS support. However, this method may also allow Axiom Station to become self-sufficient much sooner than originally anticipated. The company currently projects full independence by as early as 2028. This would reduce risks tied to any sudden changes in the ISS program while preserving the full potential of a four-module platform. In the long run, this updated strategy gives Axiom more time to refine their systems and prepare for launch. Based on available information, it is reasonable to expect the first two launches of the PPTM and HAB-1 modules to take place between 2027 and 2028. 
The appearance of the MPLM suggests that the company may be further ahead than previously thought. What are your thoughts on Axiom Space's evolving space station plans? Share your opinions in the comments. And if you enjoyed this update, please like the video and subscribe to our channel to stay on top of SpaceX's unfolding journey. Indeed, Axiom Space's roadmap is clear, but execution will require meticulous planning and flawless coordination. At present, the Palo Power Thermal Module is under construction by Thales Alenia Space in Turin, Italy. By using a design that mirrors the HAB-1 and HAB-2 service modules, Axiom Space can streamline manufacturing and reduce assembly time. The PPTM is expected to arrive at Axiom's Houston headquarters in the fall, where engineers will integrate its power, thermal, and control subsystems and perform exhaustive functional tests. Only after every connection is verified and every system passes its checkouts will the PPTM be cleared for launch. Meanwhile, production of the HAB-1 module has been moving forward steadily throughout early 2024. Photographs released by Axiom Space show the pressure shell completed and the interior outfitting well underway. Once the primary structure is finalized, teams will install life support hardware, research racks, communication systems, and safety equipment. Each subsystem must undergo its own qualification testing before HAB-1 can join the launch manifest. In parallel with hardware development, Axiom Space has been gaining invaluable operational experience through crewed missions to the ISS aboard SpaceX's Dragon spacecraft. To date, four Axiom missions have flown. The most recent, Axiom 4, lasted from June 25th to July 15th of 2025 and set a new record for international partnership by flying four astronauts representing four different nations. Each flight has given Axiom's teams a chance to practice payload deployment, in-orbit maintenance, and daily life in microgravity. The lessons learned on the ISS will directly inform how the company designs training programs, safety protocols, and mission timelines for its own station. Looking ahead, Axiom Space must accelerate both its manufacturing and operational activities. For the PPTM, integration of avionics, wiring harnesses, and thermal control loops will require close collaboration between Axiom's Houston engineers and Thales Alenia Space. Detailed system-level tests must validate that the module meets interface requirements for docking, power draw, and thermal management. For HAB-1, a thorough regimen of structural, vibration, and pressure tests will confirm that the module can withstand launch loads and maintain a safe atmosphere for crew and cargo. At the same time, production lines for the remaining modules, HAB-2, the Research and Manufacturing Facility, the Airlock, and the Multi-Purpose Logistics Module must be ramped up so they are ready for sequential launch once the station's core is in place. Parallel to that, additional crewed flights will continue, each one designed to refine station operations, habitat maintenance, and scientific workflows. These missions will also test emergency procedures, crew handover protocols, and the integration of commercial research payloads. The challenges are substantial. Building a commercially operated space station requires precise execution across multiple continents, critical supply chains, and rigorous certification processes. Yet Axiom Space can draw confidence from its strong partnership with NASA and from ongoing support from SpaceX, whose reusable launch vehicles will carry every major element into orbit. With lessons learned from the ISS and the engineering expertise of its contractors, Axiom Space stands poised to deliver the first fully private outpost in low Earth orbit. Despite its clear lead in the race to build the first commercial space station, Axiom Space cannot afford to become complacent. Several potential competitors remain in contention, and the landscape could shift rapidly. Within NASA's commercial space station program, two projects, Orbital Reef and Starlab, have made announcements but released few concrete updates. Because their development timelines and technical roadmaps remain vague, Axiom Space can reasonably assume that its own schedule and capacity will keep it ahead of those ventures. However, a new player has recently emerged that demands the company's full attention. The vast space station did not originally receive NASA funding under the commercial program. Instead, it has garnered support through a partnership with SpaceX, including agreements for long launch services, and integration with the Starlink Communications Network. The VAST team plans to launch its first module called Haven 1 next year. If all goes according to plan, Haven 1 will become the earliest privately launched space station component in low Earth orbit. That accomplishment alone would give VAST a significant advantage in terms of being first to market. Given this timeline, many industry experts expect that NASA will soon invite VAST into its commercial station program. A head-to-head -head competition between Axiom Station and the VAST station could drive both teams to accelerate development, refine designs, and innovate new capabilities. 
From Axiom Space's perspective, this contest is welcome. It creates a stronger culture of continuous improvement and motivates the government and commercial partners to provide additional support and resources. There is also a broader geopolitical element to consider. China's Tiangong Space Station, though smaller than the ISS, has advanced rapidly. As the ISS approaches the end of its operational life, Tiangong has become the most active crewed platform in orbit. Unless commercial stations... Unless commercial stations reach full operation soon, Tiangong could stand alone as the primary destination for astronauts conducting research in microgravity. Moreover, China plans to double Tiangong's size over the next few years, further enhancing its capabilities and international appeal. For the United States to maintain leadership in human spaceflight, Axiom Space must deliver on its projected launch dates first. Early deployment of the PPTM and HAB-1 service module will establish the station's foundational structure. The recent unveiling of the MPLM demonstrates Axiom's ability to expand capacity once the core is stable. Each successful milestone will reinforce confidence in Axiom Station's reliability, safety, and value to NASA and to commercial customers. Looking ahead, the company faces a series of challenges in preparing, constructing, launching, and operating its modules. These technical hurdles include integrating complex subsystems, verifying docking interfaces, and ensuring life support systems meet rigorous standards. At the same time, Axiom Space must monitor the progress of domestic competitors, Orbital Reef and Starlab, as well as the newcomer VAST and China's Tiangong program. Axiom Space's strongest assets are its partnerships. NASA's financial and technical backing provides essential endorsement and risk reduction measures. SpaceX's Falcon rockets offer proven, cost-effective launch services and close operational collaboration. By leveraging these relationships, Axiom Space can maintain its tempo, adapt to unexpected delays, and protect its leadership position. A challenging and unpredictable future lies ahead for Axiom Space. Competitors on both the domestic and international fronts will test the company's ability to stay ahead of schedule and deliver a station with compelling scientific and commercial potential. With careful planning, rigorous testing, and steadfast support from NASA and SpaceX, Axiom Space is well positioned to rise to these challenges. Observers around the world will be watching closely as the PPTM, HAB-1, and MPLM modules move from assembly to launch readiness, and as Axiom Space continues to prove that it can transform low Earth orbit into a thriving platform for research, industry, and human exploration. This has been Kevin with Great SpaceX. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you haven't already to stay up to date with yours truly on the latest milestones in SpaceX's journey. Thank you so much for watching and always remember, curiosity, imagination, and inspiration will follow you so long as you keep looking up.